When you think of ladders, uneven surfaces, and, of course, slippery surfaces such as water, ice, and grease, you can visualize the cause of accidents. About 60% of falls are a result of slips and trips. The remaining 40% are falls from heights. Slips happen when there's too little friction or traction between footwear and the walking surface. Common causes of slips are wet or oily surfaces, occasional spills, weather hazards, loose or unanchored rugs or mats, and flooring or other walking surfaces that do not have the same degree of traction in all areas. A trip occurs when a person's foot comes in contact with an object that's in their way or drops to a lower level unexpectedly, causing them to be thrown off balance. Reduce trips by always using installed light sources that provide sufficient light for your task. Using a flashlight if you enter a dark room where there's no light. Ensuring that things you're carrying or pushing do not prevent you from seeing any obstructions or spills, etc. The first and most important level of preventing falls due to slips and trips is good housekeeping, which include clean all spills immediately, mark spills in wet areas, remove obstacles from walkways and keep free of clutter. Cover cables that cross walkways. The most important protection is to wear the proper footwear for your work and environment. In most occupations, the shoes or boots should provide three major types of protection. The soles and heels should be slip resistant. The toe of the shoe should resist crushing injuries. The shoe should support the ankle. Walking too fast or running can cause major problems that can lead to slips, trips, and falls. Distractions not watching where one is going, carrying materials which obstruct view, wearing sunglasses in low light areas, and failure to use handrails. Makeshift ladders, chairs, boxes, and barrels should never be used as substitutes for a ladder. The risk of injury is far too great. Death or serious injury is a frequent result of extra riders falling from tractors, equipment, or the bed of a truck. The safe way is no riders. Practice the three-point system. The three-point system means that three of your four limbs are in contact with the ladder or vehicle at all times, either one hand and two feet, or two hands and one foot. When getting off the bed of a truck or wagon, or any similar level, step down backward, never jump, or fall down forward. Persons using the stairwell should have one hand free to be able to use the handrail. Whenever possible, avoid carrying heavy or bulky objects which obscure your vision and or require the use of both hands. Of course, we all know to never stand on the top two steps of a stepladder. That's just too dangerous and causes an unsafe shift in the center of gravity of the ladder. Don't lean past the rails of the ladder as this creates instability. Don't lean past your belt buckle for safety. Workers at high elevations, such as ladders, platforms, or catwalks, should be protected from falling by some kind of fall protective device. This can be a protective cage, a lifeline, lanyard, safety belt, or harness. Suppliers of safety equipment can provide information on the correct system for your workplace and should provide instruction on its safe use. Established policies and practices can be implemented to significantly reduce the number of injuries and deaths due to slips, trips, and falls. Much like being a defensive driver to avoid accidents, one must also be a defensive walker to avoid slips, trips, and falls.